Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Balfellian. And today we are in Alkaia in Angmar. So this is just in the southwest of the region. Uh, uh, pretty much like the first camp in the region, unless you were to include the Ramduf in that. Um, so we're on the north, uh, northwestern side of that, just near the exit into uh, Thassaklarum, uh, and the little crafting area. And inside one of the tents is the Ranger Coronier, who we may remember from when we were doing the Angmar quests. Um, we're going to have to see what he has to say. Apparently we've come just in time. Hollebrand, you have jumped, you have come just in time, for I do not know what, what, what I would do if you had not arrived. Golodir, my captain, he is in grave peril. The death of his daughter, Lorniel, brought him to the very brink of despair, but I thought his triumph over the false king would bring him the peace he sought. For a time, it seemed it did. But lately he has lapped into such a pit of grief that he seems not to know even his we his wise friends. Even we his friends. His sorrow fuels his anger at the remnants of Angmar, and he goes alone into even the most dangerous strongholds of evil. The false king is gone, but not even Golodir can long stand against the servants that still remain in many of those places. But he has gone too far this time, Hollebrand, and I do not know what to do. I need your help, for in his grief and rage I fear that Golodir is blinded to the danger, and where he goes there can be no return. He travels alone into the rift of Nurzgarshu, Hollebrand. We must rescue him. Uh, so for those that you don't know, the rift of Nurzgarshu is a level 50 raid, um, which we did do for our 200th episode special in the Let's Play, so you can go back and uh, try and dig that one out of the archives if you like. Um, if it's not too, I think it is 200 because the 201 was the chicken run. Um, but we did like a, a couple of little special videos for that, uh, which was a bit of a silly run given that we're all over leveled and whatnot. Um, but this isn't even doing the, the actual raid instance, this is doing a skirmish which takes place geographically in some of the same areas as the raid. Um, so if you've, if you've done the raid or seen the raid video, you will recognise certain of these areas. Um, but this is a skirmish, so it can be done, as with any other skirmish, as uh, single, two-man, three-man, uh, six-man or twelve-man groups. Uh, and with a tier one, two or three difficulty as well. Um, now, this could get interesting, because I'm not sure if Hollerbrand has done a skirmish tutorial. Um, so I might have to do a... Um, a quick skirmish intro off camera because I don't think he's done it. Uh, we can soon find out though because if I were to open up my panel and I was to type in uh, rescuing Nurse Garshu, apparently I can join. Maybe I'm okay then because Holoban did start through Mirkwood so he must have done this skirmish tutorial. His soldier is probably going to be absolute crap though. Um, I will say that now. Taken by some madness, Golodir has ventured into the rift. The air is thick with menace, and the stench of Foulak lingers. So that was the Balrog that we destroyed. Taken by some madness, Golodir has ventured into the rift. The air is thick with menace, and the stench of Foulak lingers. So we can summon our guy, who is going to be like a really crap warrior, it seems. Um, so yeah, if you remember the raid, this is like one of the later areas of the raid. Uh, we have to fight our way across the lava fields. Uh, and I'm not sure if the music is as loud for you guys as it is for me, but I might just uh, turn that down a little notch. Um, so we need to make our way across there and then get inside the main like Colosseum area that's up ahead. So, we have done well to make it this far, Hollerbrand, but it seems that many of the evils that once dwelt here have retreated into the deepest depths of Nurzgarshu. It may be too much to hope for our passage to remain unnoticed. What can we have what can have driven Golodir to make this dangerous journey? Has he lost all hope for the future? Has he suffered so much, more than any one man should? And yet he persevered. Has he at last given in to despair? We must keep moving. Norbar is ahead. I fear what we may find there. Golodir is not himself. Of this, I am certain. Are you coming with us, sir? He is the wisest ranger I have known. What could have driven him to this place? I cannot understand it. We must rescue him. 
even if it be from him himself. Onwards. So the three of us are going to attack. So we're going to have a great big funeral that will block the path, which has a disgusting amount of morale. But we don't have to fight it, it's fine. It's just essentially going to be a roadblock for a group of ads. And I think as soon as we defeat this group of ads, we'll have to... Uh, Oh, I don't think we have to do it as a solo. I think on solo it just gets destroyed anyway by Coronir. But if you're in a group, I think you have to do a, a fellowship manoeuvre on it. Of a certain kind. Um, oh, Vile Defender Slayer. Actually, Hollowbones hasn't done that. I'm sure we've seen a Vile Defender on one of the other characters. I found its weakness. Strike it quickly. Right, so we just have to hit it with a normal skill attack. Just target it and use the skill. But, um, as I say, in, in fellowships, I think you just have to do like all red or... All all greens uh, conjunctions. Um, another ancient fumarole has erupted out of the floor. So this time I think we end up having uh, two waves probably coming at us. So we've got a Daywalker Berserker who's just going to be irritating, put his shields up to absorb all the damage. Now if I'm lucky I can probably turn him around so he doesn't murder my soldier if nothing else. They can scream at everything to make it attack us as a force taunt. Just so it comes close enough that I can do some damage and actually tank it properly. Right, there we go. His uh, shield is down. Press all the buttons. Because if we're too slow, he will get a, another shield back up again. And I've managed to drag a skill off my skill bar. Like a boss. Uh, which skill was it? Um, it wasn't the hammer down. Crap. To the king? I think. I found its weakness. Strike quickly. Bonk. There we go. So yeah, this time because it needs two hits, we've only taken it down to half health. And we'll need another attack to do it. So in the meantime, enemies have appeared. Uh, now that's going to do a nasty attack. We've got a bearer of blight, so he's going to start inflicting some conditions. So what have you given me at the minute, sir? Minus 50% all damages? I'm not having that. That's my removal skill. There we go. Remove your nasty effects. I'm not having minus 50% damage on my already pretty crappy effects. Now what have you done? He's disarmed me. Wound blade. There we go. Strike it quickly. Bonk. Torek now has been destroyed. The path is now open. Proceed. Make haste. We must breach Norbar before it is too late. And then bonk. Another one right in front of the door. Typical. The denizens of Nosgarshu are coming. Protect the ancient Torek. So we've got another lieutenant. Now they should come from behind, so we'll probably see them running in. Um, I think in some cases they could spawn from over the sides. So we've got another bearer of blight. So let's just spank him. Now, try not to fall in the lava, because if you do, I think there's no way that you're going to manage to get out. Um, so it will be a horrible death. And you've given me some kind of disease. Uh, plus 50% incoming damage from all sources, basically. Okay. Alright, hit it. Donk. There we go. So this one takes three goes. So we're going to have three waves attack us. Um, so wave number two, there is another lieutenant. What do we got? Daywalker Berserker. Can I shout him across the ray? No, because it doesn't count as line of sight. Okay. As soon as he gets aggroed, he'll put his shield up, so I could have saved myself a few seconds there. If it had let me shout across the chasm, at least. So it's only um, one wolf with this guy. So there we go. He's down. There we go. Gwent's attacks. Let's 
many of those skills as we can. There we go. I've managed to get a conjunction off of him. Let's get the, the stun for the fellowship maneuver at least. Even if I can't do one solo. Right, clonk it again. There we go, that's two. And now there's a third wave coming to attack. And what have we got this time? Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be a lieutenant. Nope, there he is. Oh, they're attacking from the other side. So we've got a shepherd of filth in the middle there somewhere. So he's going to start causing all these worms to appear and they're going to suicide bomb me. Bonk. But that's alright, I can soak up the damage, it's fine. There we go, found its weakness. Bang, number three. So we have two encounters that have just propped up. So like uh, any other skirmish, the encounters are random. There's a like a, usually a selection of like six or seven that can occur. And you'll get like two every time you do a skirmish. Uh, in this case, two of them are propped immediately here. So a hole in the rubble ahead appears to be oozing. So that should be one of these. There we go. And then the second one is Snagtalan's angry roar echoes from across the lava field. So there we go, let's activate this one. So we've got Morthrin, some kind of big nasty slug here. So let's turn it around so our warrior can attack from behind, so then our warrior won't get parried or blocked. And that should hopefully uh, really does a bit more damage as a result of that. In the meantime, we're just going to hit him with everything we've got, throw as many of our block and parry response skills as we can. And this guy's actually doing a reasonable job of actually doing some damage to me as well, because he's nearly got me down to half health. Not that he's going to be particularly threatening, because he will die long before he gets that down. Hammer time! Oh, not quite. Very close. There we go. Morphine falls to your mighty blow. So, just a reminder then. So, Snagtalun's angry roar echoes from across the lava field. So, he'll be over there somewhere, basically back where we started. So, if we just retrace our steps... And then, worst case, you should be able to see a red dot on the minimap, even if you can't see him himself. But he should be over here, I think. Um, there he is. So it's a, a big, nasty lava troll. Now, bear in mind, because he is a troll, he will do front away we, and he's probably got a knockback skill as well. So we probably don't want to be between him and lava. Otherwise, we might get um, knocked in the lava, which would be bad. Um, our soldier seems to be taking his time to run over here. There he is. Alright, let's turn him around for our soldier. He's preparing some kind of uh, special attack, it seems. So the question is, can I can I get enough attacks down before I run out of power? The answer is probably going to be in a resounding no by the looks of it. Right, catch a breath. Probably a bit early for the hammer time there. I'll take what damage I can. Fire everything! Come on! Three and a half K. There we go. Snagtalun falls to your mighty blow. So that is both encounters we've got done then. So now we can run up and back across the lava field. Let's accept those uh, little bounties. So hopefully my guy is smart enough not to fall in the lava, but from time to time they can do some silly pathing. Not necessarily just in this this skirmish or any instance. Um, sometimes they, <laughs> they just lose the will to live and throw themselves off the side of a cliff. For no discernible reason. It's worse when the uh, the enemy mobs do it, because then they stay aggroed on you and they don't take full damage, so they just sit at the bottom of, like, you know, the pit of Kazadum and <laughs> just like, look up at you. Right. So we are in the uh, the boss room, essentially. So speak to Coronet. Look there, beyond the great pit of fire. It is Golodir. We have found him. Let us make our way over to the far side of Norbar, Hollibrand. There we will speak with Golodir and bring him from these perilous depths. Now, there's just one problem with that. Now, there's there's, there's four things that are distinctly not boulders in this room. Uh, I'll let you work out if you can see what they are. 
This way, we will skirt the edge of the Colosseum. Beware the fire streams. I'll just run through it, Sonic. God of dear, why have you come to this place? Speak, my friend. Lornio, stand back from the door. I have come to save you. Something is not right. Come here. We must unravel this mystery, or I fear he will be lost to us. So he's kind of like hallucinating, basically. Thinking there's a way to save his daughter. Uh, my warrior's despawned. Well, fine, if you want to have a hot bath, you can stay in the lava. He speaks of his daughter as if she still lived, Hollibrand. There is some great evil at work here. What has raised this madness in the mind of my mentor to cruelly seize upon the grief within his heart? And what can be done about it? What is this feeling? Can you not sense it? Darkness and power. This force has imposed its will upon Goladir. It poisons him against us. Boom. The ranger's pain serves as a gateway for Edward's will. I will not permit you to close it. It will take me a few moments to set the trap. So the problem is, he's there. I don't know what Corrin is intending to do, but my warrior is doing a fair bit of damage anyway. The trap is set. Quickly draw him towards it. Well, he's going to die because he's just fighting in lava. Uh, this guy will come to me, at the very least. So we can put him all the way over here into the trap. Then splat. So it's done some nasty damage to him and given him some kind of debuff. His fire shield has been temporarily suppressed, which means I can spank him. Now, this guy is doing a fair bit of damage to me. Bang! There we go. He's been defeated and Golodir has been freed. So maybe we don't get the uh, the K Kerogs activating in solo mode. So let's speak to him. Um, but the other thing as well that can be interesting with this is that Golody's health does not scale um, up in, if you're doing this at higher levels. Um, so if you're doing it in larger group sizes it gets a bit complicated because occasionally Golodir will just kind of go psychotic and start attacking the group. And what happens is you basically need to um, perform a fellowship maneuver on him which means you have to attack him. Um, and as soon as you do an attack you know you do this fellowship maneuver and it, it, it takes care of him. And you have to like um, do greens or blue ones, uh, which is the opposite of doing the red or yellow ones on the fumaroles earlier. So I think it might only do this in six man and above. Um, but the problem is because you you do so much damage at a higher level, you can potentially one shot him. So the the trick that we used to do is we would equip either one of the joke weapons like frying pans, pitchforks, that kind of thing that only has like one or two DPS on it, um, or slap a fish. Because um, <laughs> it was funnier slapping him out of uh, slapping around to his senses with a slapper fish. Um, so you can use those to, and then either just do auto attacks or a skill which, if you double check your tooltip damage to make sure it scales off your weapon, then it'll probably do no damage. Whereas if it scales off like your straight off your stats, then it could still do more damage than he has health. And you can use those to slowly whittle him down just to get this, the maneuver off without actually killing him outright with a one shot. Um, but you might only have, to, I think you only have to have that mannequin on a, on a six man group or higher in order to do a fellowship maneuver since, you know, um, I think you have to go six, six greens or six blues. Uh, but our K-Rog friends, it seems, uh, <laughs> don't activate on solo mode at least, but I think they activate on three man or higher. So you'll get all four of those guys, uh, wake up and give you a bit of trouble at exactly the same time that the boss starts attacking. Um, so let's loot the chest. We're going to have some relics and a bit of coinage. What has happened? Where where am I? Goddard looks around in amazement and confusion. There was a ringing in my ears as if I swam in deep water. But it is now gone. There was something else. A shroud has lifted from my eyes. But which is the dream and which is not? Lorneal was... She was alive. It was not too late to save her. Some part of me knew that Erebon had dominance over my mind. 
But even the small hope of seeing Lorneal again was hope enough. I did not fight him. I am ashamed. I am no ranger. You are the bravest ranger I know. Why else would Erebon seek to master your mind? He sought to deprive us of you, and at a moment when we need you the most. The Dunedain are gathering. We must ride to the aid of our Lord Aragorn. We need you, Goladir. So, the time has come at last. Perhaps it will do me some good to leave Angmar behind. These shadows have become too familiar. It will be best to leave them behind. So, we've completed rescuing Nurzgarshu. Uh, and it seems we've activated some extra deeds as well. So, Troll Slayer and Angmar. Because we killed the, uh, the Troll Encounter earlier. And we've got a couple of skirmish deeds as well that have popped up. Uh, and the, uh, the encounter deed for rescuing Nurzgarshu. So I speak to Coronet. I shudder to think of what awaited Goladir behind that door, Hollibrand. Erebon's dominance on the mind of my mentor was strong. What would Goladir have seen there that had he remained under the Rogmore's power? I care not to guess. I know only that it would have been Lorneal, and perhaps that would have been enough to destroy Goladir forever. Let us escape to the surface. Nurzgarshu is no place for us. Or for our loved ones. So speak to Coronair. You have my deepest thanks for aiding me in the rescue of Goladir. You have my deepest thanks, Hollibrand, for aiding me in the rescue of Goladir from the very depths of Nurzgarshu. He must have drawn the notice of Erebun during one of our excursions into the cities of Angmar, following the defeat of the False King. Who knows what would have happened if the Rogmore had maintained his dominance. We can be glad that it did not happen, Hollibrand. I think it is best for Goladir to come with us as part of the Grey Company. It is not healthy for him to remain in this land, as marked with grief it must be for him. The wide southern lands will do him good, I am sure of it. He will be kept busy, as we will all be, and I believe that to be the best means of rising above grief, as he must and will. Thank you again, my friend. So, finish that. You have come a great way. And should now return to Rivendell. So, we need to wrap up this book then. So, you have come a great way, Hollibrand, to bring your message to the Dunedain. Goladir and I will inform the rest of our kin here in Angmar, and we will make haste to join the Grey Company. You should return now to Master Elrond in Rivendell, that he may be told of your errand's success. So, next up then... To Rivendell. 